I'm looking forward to the next one. I, Brendan's been training Brendan, over you want the me to put your IFB just back on you because I know you do a little talk later just so we don't have to worry about sure. it. So Brendan, Brendan Schaub has been training over at the Gracie Academy lately. Uh, we've got, all gotten to know him. I think, he's, I think Brendan has his hands full with this match coming up. I mean, oh, big I, time. Big time. This, guy, this, uh, this guy's no joke. So Cyborg, Tom, right? Yeah, he's playing with fire for sure. Yeah. Um, Got to give him a lot of credit for taking the, oh, taking man. the match. Oh, man. Yeah, and he has a UFC fight in a couple weeks. Oh. That's the crazy part. So Dana was like, yo, don't get hurt, Shab. You know, right. go there, have fun, but don't get hurt. He looks like he's in terrific condition. Yeah, so Shab had to lose like, like, some weight. like yeah, 30 yeah, pounds. Yeah. He had to come in at 235. And, uh, anything I do, I, I give 100%. I would not sign up for anything if I didn't think I could do Nothing. Nothing in life. I dedicate my life to, to this Jiu-Jitsu competition. And, um, it, it's a different beast when you're dealing with a professional athlete of my caliber. You're talking about an entire camp geared towards 20 minutes of Jiu-Jitsu. And I've prepared for that. Brendan Sharp. Comes Brendan, huh? Here's our boy. Yeah. Here's our boy with heat on in his corner here, Mark Munoz. Brendan oh, yeah. Schaub. He's been training at the academy. Boy, he looks terrific, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he, he cut like weight. 30 pounds, wow. man. This guy is uh, made his name, first made his name for himself on the Old Street Fighter TV show. The heavyweights, yeah. he was the runner up there. Lost a, uh, at, at the final fight to um, Big Country. That's right, yeah, that's Big right. Country I saw him. that fight. But Big, hey, Big Brent, Country is a deceptive guy. Yeah, he is, man. He's got that belly, but he uses it right and yeah. he moves well. He's got, you know, he's got a great right hand and he's got great range finder. His now, distance is good. Shop, is, guy, Shop, Shop played in the NFL for a small while. He's a very athletic big guy. Yeah. Normally walks around 250, 260, 265, and uh, we got to take that patch up his back. Normally walks around. Is, I think this is a good weight for him, whatever it is. Yeah. 230, 220, I don't know what he is, but. <laughs> this is going to be interesting, man. So, talking to Shop before the fight. time so it's really like I don't, I don't really stress too much about it you know for me when I step on the mat it's one more day of work it's one more day on the mat so like it's not like I get too anxious or, or nervous or nothing like this you know just go just go and give my best and you know, as much more I relax the best I fight you know Alberto Cyborg Abreu so these guys no keys So no gi, no gi hammer this match. Right? Yes, no gi match. Yeah. So it should be more movement, a lot more, yes. a lot less, yes. a lot, yes, a lot more. Not, no holding, holding. Yeah. no holding. Yeah, exactly. So super heavyweight cyborg. He was a wrestler. A lot of people don't know this about him. He was a member of the Brazilian national wrestling team. Oh, was he? So he has the takedown, and he's very known for his bottom half guard game, what they call a tornado guard. He likes to spin upside down, attack the legs. Very interesting style. Very much like lay down, let you mess up, and then ah, take your leg on the yeah, way out. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, Shab is ready, man. This guy prepares like a beast. I mean, they call him the hybrid, but it was a, it was a big jump. You know, in jiu-jitsu, um, Shab is a brown belt. Well, Cyborg so, um, looks to be about 220 to me. I didn't, he doesn't yeah. look as big as his, uh, as Shab. Yeah, he's a little bit lighter, which is why they agreed yeah. to me at 235 yeah. for Shab to come down a little bit. So here we have it. So Chop's actually at 245, 29 years old. Cyborg's 32. Chop has the height advantage, you know, no doubt. He's 6'4". And, uh, yeah, representing the Gracie Academy. Been training with us. He's a brown belt, but he's going to give it his all. And uh, fight Shab. sport academy for Cyborg. Chop's built like an NFL tight end. Chop is built like a beast. Yeah. But Ladies and gentlemen, obviously this, this next, next match, match is no gi. gi. This is the purest form of grappling that you will see on the face of the planet. The referee for this next match is Johnny Faria. Good 
This is it, my friends. So a lot of people counted Shab out really early. Like yeah. he shouldn't be playing at this level. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. You know, I, I can see why they would say that. He's, he's not even a black belt in jiu-jitsu, technically. Yeah, yeah. But he's grappling with the Noguera. He grappled with some of the best fighters in the world when he fights in MMA. Yeah, he's, you know what he's, I mean? he's had a lot of experience with good yes. guys. And he's just, you know, he's just very athletic and ready to play. I mean, the truth is, he just wants to be tested in this field. He, he really... He looks like he's ready to throw a right hand. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. He's got the confidence that comes from being a great athlete. You know yeah, I mean? he that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He just wants to play the game. Yeah, he, wants to get in, he wants to get in the game. Gonna, he, wants yeah. to he wants to scrap. <laughs> yeah, so we have, you know, 20 minutes, no points. And um, it's very unique. It's very different than what yeah. jiu-jitsu practitioners are used to in terms of, you know, 10 minutes, points. I mean, it's just yes, so common yes, that a fight yes. is won by a single point or, you know, an advantage, you know, a, a partial point. And it's just something that, you know, is, is very kind of unsatisfying when, when a fight is won like that, especially when they get the point and they hold yes, just to stall the yes, point yes, out. Yes, yes, Which That's is one of the crazy. most, yeah, it's one of the, you know, most difficult challenges of, of point-based tournaments in jiu-jitsu. Whereas here, super fights, only the best competing, and uh, and this you know, is a little bit more like like sambo or something, right? Without the gi, is, is yeah. Well, sambo, from what I understand, they use the gi top, and they oh, use. Oh, uh, no, they, I, I don't that. think they wear yeah, the yeah. gi bottoms, correct? But yeah, you know, in generally, the the the, the idea of metamorphosis is just you know incentivize the submission. We don't want the fighters to be scared to go for the submission, right? Out of fear of losing a point and being held right. onto for you know nine, eight, nine, ten minutes, right? So it gives them more freedom to kind of do their creative and do their thing. And like I said, grapple like they do in the gym. It's very different how people grapple in the yeah. gym. They got to be careful over here. Single leg, nice brawl by Shab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here's Shab looking to wrap the neck. And pulls guard. Should move to the center. So you'll see Cyborg pretty comfortable laying down right here now. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> 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 So, of course, Shab expected this, because this is Cyborg's game. He and sits Shab, down. And Shab has the MMA thing where, get up, get up, you know, <laughs> strike and kick. But he's thinking, well, maybe I ought to go down, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. MMA, you have to get up. You have to get up. Here, you want to go to the ground. Yeah, down. they want to see him grapple. <laughs> there, now he's going to join in there because he's figured, what am I going to do standing up? Yeah, you know, eventually, they can only stand up so long, they can't strike. I see what you mean. He wants, he wants to roll underneath. Yes, yeah. he wants to spin underneath. Yeah. Tornado guard. They want to see Shab just grapple with him, but Shab's yeah, like, yeah. Shab like, wait a minute, yeah, man. Yeah, let's, let's be clear here, like this guy. <laughs> so this, Shab has the highest level of respect for what Cyborg can do yeah. from the bottom. So he's not looking to, especially this early in the game. So yes. his, his mindset right, is, right, you right, know, right. fill it out, see what he's going to do. <laughs> He's gonna lay there. That was gonna play dead. It's so funny. It's the exact opposite of M M uh, MMA. Yes. And. 
remember when Silva was fighting Damian Maya, and, the, and this was happening, and they, yes. they were actually booing Maya because he was on the ground. Right. And yeah, uh, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. Yeah. Now he's gonna he's gonna join them on the ground. So now we'll see Saito try to spin underneath in the half yeah, guard yeah, yeah. and look to attack Shab's right leg. But Shab's doing a good job keeping the pressure, trying to stuff him here. He's got, he's got the leg. Nope. Yeah. Ha <laughs> 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 Yeah, the truth is, Saber has to take him down and put pressure, and that's how he's going to win. Exactly. Because Shab's not going to jump in the bear trap. <laughs> no, no, no. Why would he? So, yeah, it's funny. His instincts say, no, don't do it, you know? Yes. No, because that's how Saber beats everybody. He lays down, flips himself upside down. You dive in carelessly. You get triangle choked, or you get right. e-bart. Right. I mean, Brendan's probably hoping that Just be careful. They might land on us right now. I think he's probably hoping for the guy to shoot on him, and he'll maybe catch him in a guillotine. Quite or, possible, or yes. Reverse. He loves those. He loves yeah, the guillotine. Yeah. loves the anaconda yeah. choke. For sure. So if Cyborg shoots, he may very well go for the legs. And I think maybe he wants to tie, try to tire him a little bit, you know? Yes. Like this, like this. And I lay the weight on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cyborg looks very comfortable. I mean, he's just, he's got to put that, he's got to make that takedown. We're almost seven minutes in. Good sprawl. He's got that one foot in his leg. So now you see Cyborg bottom half guard once again. Same yeah. game plan. He's looking to control Shab's bottom leg. And you'll see Shab's see Shab's right hand on his throat. Oh, oh yeah, okay. You see Shab's right hand in his throat right there? Yeah. Keeping him from diving under. So right, he's right, very much right, respecting right, the, the tornado dive under. Right. And, and Cyborg's getting frustrated because he wants to just spin underneath. Yeah, yeah. And he's preventing that. Yes, with the cross face kind of throat grab. Yeah. So obviously Shab has, you know, done his research and studied the tapes. And Let's see if Shab <laughs> Same idea, half guard. Same thing, respecting the half guard, respecting the spin under. See, normally when people are in Cyborg's half guard right here, they're so impatient, they just kind of dive their weight on him, and then he spins under almost 100% almost free, free pass. So he's keeping that distance. Yes, so you see Shab is mainly yeah. preventing the dive under on the front side. And he's got the length. Yes, and you know, we'll see if Shab tries to pass or not, but really his mindset is neutralized, right? Yeah. This guy, he's fighting, you know, multiple-time world champion. Henry, do you think that uh, Brendan's losing at this point? You know, because he's... Again, I think that... That's a good question. I, you know, definitely, I think that people want... He, he's losing in terms of the what the people want, I think, which is yeah. him to engage and grapple yeah. and be careless. But this is this is him doing what he yeah. is planning to do against, against Cyborg because... But let me ask you this. What do you think his strategy is? What do you think he wants? I think, I think it's respect early, like this. Yeah. Learn and respect. Once he's able to neutralize the tornado guard and the spins, you know, a few yeah. times. Yeah. Yeah. Then he'll look to pass, I think. He will try to pass. Right. And he has right. a pretty nice side mount, submission attacks, you know. his. Uh, so he wants his to frustrate, his frustrate, love frustrate him a little yes. bit. Yes. He just wants to kind of shut yeah. down this game. Yeah. And feel it. He's never really, he's, we've, we've practiced it, but he hasn't really exactly. felt it from yeah. Cyborg himself. So it's always he doesn't want to get caught in a heel hook one minute. Yes, you know, correct. Yeah. Exactly. So he's literally, he knows he has time. You know what I'm saying? He, he's not yeah. rushing it. Yeah. Very much patience and uh, let Cyborg exhaust his strategy. Now he's got, he's got him. 
So now this is very nice for Cyborg. He's pretty much getting under. He's looking to spin. Oh, yeah. Almost yep. got a triangle upside down right there. Yep. Shot dropped his hips very nicely. He definitely got closer to yeah, yeah. what he wanted to do. Yeah, he's just whole thing is can relies on getting underneath Shab. His whole thing relies on getting under Shab's gravity, spinning under, and taking the leg on the way out. Triangle or knee bar. Back to the half guard, and you'll see um, Cyborg's half guard is this open kind of Z half where he has one leg in the calf, yeah. one shin across the chest. He keeps that, that top knee is designed to keep the distance between their bodies. And that distance that he's keeping is designed to allow him to spin under at will. So it's almost like he's reserving the entry point. The problem is Shab is too aware of where his head wants to go, which is underneath. So somebody, somebody told Shab to keep that hand on the neck. Someone told Shab <laughs> to keep the cross, look at that neck. See that? <laughs> yeah, because that's, I mean, Cyborg's game is, it's very effective for him. But it's pretty predictable from the half guard here. He's very good so at what far, he, he's just he's the a, same thing. Yes, the but he, he pretty much, he's the best in the world at what he does. Yeah. Shab is just prepared for it. Yeah, yeah. Here comes the spin. He got that bottom leg. Oof. Nine minutes left. So I think we might start to see Shab be a little more proactive on the passing attempts. Yeah, for sure the judge is going to look at this and think he's moving away from the fight. It's not going to look good for Shab. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. It's one thing to be in the half guard and neutralize and, you know, boom. Even though he is neutralizing the one move that Cyborg's yes. been making. Correct. So I'm, I'm a big proponent of give credit to the people yeah. who defend the submission as yeah. well as the ones who go yeah. for it. But the reality is, you know, if, in a jiu-jitsu mindset, you know, a Cyborg is clearly more willing to engage and Shab is more looking to neutralize. So I think from a judge's perspective, Cyborg's style reminds me of a lowland gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> close guard. So it took close guard. Close guard and they celebrate. Should be interesting. Might see him shoot a triangle. Seven minutes left. We're coming up on seven minutes remaining. Cyborg looking to pull half guard there. Brendan's hard to take down. He's got that good sprawl. Yeah, no, that's something, you know, and that's his MMA training as well. It's very contingent on not getting his back on the ground. Let's keep backing his legs out. And he doesn't have a really a wrestling history. Yeah. Okay, no, comes something here. Cyborg is now coming into the deep half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to, he's trying to get as much under his his legs as he can. Yeah. He's looking to spin for the knee bar. There it is. Yeah. It's not looking too good. Knee on the ground. No. Nope. Nice. Nope, nope, nope. That was a good attempt, though. He had it. Shab neutralized. That was an impressive attack right there. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah. And to get under Shab and make Shab move like that, like not, a, not an easy thing to do. Cyborg acting patient here. I mean, he, he's frustrated because, you know, he's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's frustrated. Not only that Shab is not engaging with him right now, but mainly that... Um, He's not able to implement his game. He sees yeah. that Shab is very much in the neutralizing mindset. And yeah, yeah. So we're coming up on five minutes remaining. Back to the half. Cyborg's home base. He loves it. 
Switching half the other way. Coming up for the half guard control. Looking to hug the body. Shab doing a good job of. Shab trying to prevent him from sitting up and hugging the body. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the grab from the neck up there is classic. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes, four minutes down, four minutes left. Yeah. He's just holding him out. Okay, I just got word from the from the production crew that uh, we have a surprise after this match. I can't say what it is, but uh, I can assure that it's going to be a special surprise and um, everyone stand by once this match is over we have quite the surprise for you guys check it out i want to see shab shooting right now trying to take him down put some pressure if he was going to shoot it would be right around now don't you think yeah you need three minutes to get the, get the yeah. party started once you hit yeah. the ground he's looking to do it i think he's looking to do it yeah, and what's funny is that I'm very curious to see what the judges are going to say because Cyborg hasn't really had a chance to do it other than Brennan backing up more. Shop has, has essentially neutralized a couple of takedowns, yeah. neutralized the half guard. So I wonder how they how they how they judge this. I don't know how they would judge that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I can't. Yeah. Ne neither guy is playing the other guy's game. Correct. It's, it's, it's like... Great scroll once again. Shot looking for the front choke here. He's going for the he's got, army. He's got that block. Looking for a guillotine or an anaconda choke. He has a guillotine now. He's putting both hands in. Yeah. Sitting back to half. <laughs> Two minutes. All, you, all you have to do is give Shab some gloves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some gloves and yeah. have a fight. The truth is, Shab has the most respect. That's the bottom line. He's yes. not playing the game. He doesn't want to roll around. He, I think he, based on his strategy. I don't want these guys in my lap. <laughs> Here comes. Oh, they want to fall to go. One minute left. Yeah. So now would be a good time to basically turn it exactly. on the party started. And try to, yeah. I mean, shoot him up and dump him. Yes, win or lose. Right. Goes. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Half a minute. Win or lose. Now's the time to put it on the line. Yeah. 
Cyborg's basically inviting him to shoot, you know, but yeah, he is. Oh, Ron, I mean, you seen the Anaconda choke is wrapped. Don't do it! Don't do Wonderful to see a replay. Had a little action right at the end there. Hey. Waiting for a decision. I don't think they're... It's a tough fight to judge. I Again, I'm going to go out on a limb and go with Cyborg just because he was pushing the fight more, but he ended up in the dominant position at the end. But again, it's a tough one to judge. Both guys kind of neutralized the other, and neither one played the other's game. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, ladies and gentlemen, our judges have rendered a decision. Your winner, Cyborg. Let's talk to the winner right here, Herberto Cyborg. Cyborg, tell us a little bit, what was the game plan going in? You probably knew that Brandon Schaub was not going to try to grapple too much with you being the world champion, multiple-time world champion that you are. What was the mindset going in? And uh, talk to us about the fight a little bit. I think, the, first of all, I want to thank God for the opportunity of doing what I most love to do, which is training jiu-jitsu and living from what I love to do. Second, I want to thank my, my wife, my beautiful wife and my family for being here. My dad flew all the way from Brazil to come here and support me. So, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being who you are. Third, um, I, I, I think that every time I step on the mat, I go there to fight. Sometimes I fight people who are supposed to be better than me. But I make sure to go there and give my 100% and do what I went there to do. Okay, um, Brendan Schaub is a nice guy. Thank you so much for the opportunity, brother. But I think when you accept this fight, you should come here, at least try to pass my guard and try to fight me 100%. No. And also, um, I really thank Metamorphs for the opportunity of, of having me here. Okay, um, I really hope again next time I can come here and show you guys what I came here to was show you guys the most beautiful Jiu Jitsu ever. Okay, I'm sorry I couldn't make it happen for you guys. Cyborg, everyone. Good job, bro. Shop. Talk about the strategy. Talk about the mindset facing a uh, let them finish. Talk about the mindset facing a multiple-time world champion, no gi, and um, you know what was the mindset going into it, bro? Yeah. <laughs> so for me, guys, this is the way to give back to jujitsu. Cyborg is a great competitor, world champion. My game's a little different. I shut him down. I look for the submission, and uh, his guard's a little different. So it didn't happen. The defense is there. The game plan was there. So. To me, it's a win. It's a it's a win-win. 
Sure, and listen up, you guys. Listen up. You guys, he said something very interesting in, in, in the beginning here. And the truth is, when, when we talked to, to Brendan, and when Halleck spoke to Brendan about doing this, and uh, Brendan got permission from Dana White, he mainly, he just said it, he wanted to do this because he knew that by participating in Metamoris, it would give the opportunity for some UFC fans to kind of cross over and check this thing out. So really, I think it was like Chop just said, it was an attempt to give back to Jiu Jitsu. So my hat's off to him. Respect, give respect where respect is deserved. And the ultimate question is, if you guys were up here against Cyborg, what would you have done? See this. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Matt Mitrione, you got my attention now, brother. It's on. Thank you, guys. Good fight, you guys. Thank you, guys. Round of applause for the homies.